we will be talking about Charlotte Bronte's uh, Jane Eyre. Dash, please uh, tell me about the life and education of Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bronte was born in 1816 in the family of Irish Anglican clergyman. She was one of the um, three Bronte sisters. All her sisters became uh, writers. Yeah, and it is also important to learn uh, that they didn't live long. And so, and all her sisters uh, lived early. Uh, so they left early. They didn't live for a long time. Okay, yeah. so what period was it? Um, she lived in Victorian England and studied in the school for clergy daughters. It was a period of class system when uh, class distinctions were big. Usually clergy families uh, were poor and their children served as teachers or governesses. Yeah, and we'll see it in Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. In Jane Eyre, because uh, there she actually told about her own experience. Mm -hmm. So what else was uh, in her experience, Mother? Mm -hmm. yeah, she worked, mm -hmm. worked uh, as a teacher, but did not like it. As soon as uh, she, as soon she started to write in novels, um, she was uh, only 38 when she died in pregnancy. Yeah, so she found her love later, and she got pregnant, and there she died. And uh, she is actually the author of one novel. And her famous novel is Jane Eyre. Later, she also tried other novels, uh, but none of the novels uh, was as popular as uh, Jane Eyre. Eh? Jane Eyre is her most famous uh, novel. And uh, let's talk about the basic facts. Uh, type of work is a novel a genre, a hybrid of three genres. The Gothic, uh, the Gothic novel, uh, is the the supernatural, the horrific, and the romantic. And the Romans novel, Love and Passion, represents the notion of love as destined for each other. And the Buildings Roman describes the internal de development of a character. Yeah, we see that the Gothic elements are in uh, this moment uh, connected with uh, the wife uh, of uh, Mr. Rochester. Yeah? So all the secrecy, something happens. Uh, and something really bad happens, uh, but still uh, there are the lovers and they're destined for each other. And through all the novel, uh, we can see how uh, Jane Eyre becomes a different person, how she develops as a personality. Okay, yeah, story elements and structure. It is first person narration, the place is Northern England. Time is early decades of the 19th century. Mm -hmm. uh, the characters are protagonist is Jane Eyre, Eyre antagonist uh, Jane meets uh, with a series of forces that threaten her liberty, integrity, and happiness. Characters embodying the forces are uh, Aunt Reed, uh, Mr. Uh, Brocklehurst, uh, Bertha Mason, and Mr. Rochester. Mm -hmm. We um, see that uh, through all her life, uh, through all the stages, uh, she meets different characters and uh, this diff all they are antagonists uh, and they help uh, her develop. Uh, okay, here, yeah. tone. Mm -hmm. Jane Eyre's uh, tone is um, uh, both uh, gothic and atmosphere of mystery, secrecy, and uh, romantic. Uh, Jane's personality is friendly, she's uh, optimistic and philosophical. And we see that uh, these are in the genres. Yeah, so the, this tone is represented in. Uh, the hybrid of three genres. And uh, mm -hmm. seems the, the main themes are uh, uh, love versus uh, autonomy, religion, social class, and gender relations. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, whether you love or you are autonomous, uh, then religion is important, and social class and gender relations. Uh, so, that describes the plot of the story. Uh, Jane is traumatized by the ghost of her uncle. And and she this is, is a pretty... Gothic element, yeah? We see that this is uh, the Gothic element. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when she is in school, she is treated badly there. Uh, Jane, um, when Jane um, uh, is uh, in the house of Mr. Rochester, she secretly falls uh, in love with him. And, and Jane saves Roch Mr. Rochester from a fire and decrees 
uh, to marry him, uh, in, but uh, she finds out uh, that he's uh, married to Berta and uh, flees. And then she, when she um, then she meets her, her cousins and uh, inherits a fortune. Uh, Saint uh, Joan, uh, her cousin, uh, proposes to Jane, uh, and uh, she says no. Uh, Berta Mason dies in a fire, and Jane and Rochester marry. Yeah. So we see that. Uh... Here are different, uh, again, these different parts uh, connected with different genres. Uh, yeah? So ghost uh, of her uncle, this is the gothic element. Uh, and again, when she finds out about uh, Berta Mason, it's also a gothic element. Uh, then there are elements of her personal development uh, when she refuses to marry St. John only because uh, uh, so she has to marry. And uh, then finally, these are the parts of romantic novel. And finally, she marries uh, Mr. Rochester. Okay. Yeah. And uh, if we compare this novel to Pride and Prejudice, uh, what will be the similarities uh, that are important for us to know? Uh, I think that the main similarity is um... Romance, uh, romantic aspect, um, uh, marriage, uh, and um, uh -huh. uh, this of, um, uh, of uh, women's uh, position, uh, but uh, uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. but uh, in uh, Jane Eyre, uh, women uh, Jane Eyre uh, wants uh, to be uh, to have liberty, uh, to be free, but uh, in uh, Right and prejudice, marriage uh, is uh, considered to be a main uh, sin uh, to women. Absolutely. Yeah. So there, they uh, in, they uh, aspire marriage. Uh, they want to get married. Uh, but here we see why Jane Eyre is like next step uh, in describing women's uh, roles uh, and women's position. Of course, uh, we see this inner building how the person becomes, uh, how Jane becomes a different person. Okay, and uh, again about this, uh, we see what happened. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, in general, what kind of a novel is it uh, compared to the previous works, Natasha? What makes this novel special? Maybe it is... Um, uh psychological and uh, mysterious, uh, mysterious uh, novel mm -hmm. um, and and uh, also uh, social uh, novel because uh, the theme of money of liberty is mm -hmm. important yeah very good thank you we see that uh, here there is already the next step uh, you only uh, you, first of all you marry the person you want uh, to marry yeah? not because you need to marry. And uh, then uh, this personal development is very important. Uh, but also we can say that the combination of genres uh, is uh, the great uh, like, uh, positive side of the novel because here Charlotte combined uh, all the popular genres uh, of uh, that time. Okay.